Hello, friend. Hey, girl. So Meg already taught me how to sew, kind of. <laughs> so Meg, what was on your list that you wanted me to teach you? <laughs> Brandishing. Well, I wanted you to just, you know, like yeah. give me a good talking to with a long dowel. Done. On my list is macrame. It's like a really kind of simple staple project, but then it's always like just more challenging when I'm there by myself and I end up with like, you know, it's like cut to a mess of yarn all around me. It's totally fine. I got it. And so I just figured why not go to the expert. And so I thought I would teach you the Josephine knot, but since we've already done the planter, that we would make a little wall hanging. Oh, I love it. Because like wall hangings are everywhere. Have you noticed this? Yes, I love them. I love that they're sort of bringing back the retro 70s vibe, but yeah. getting like a little modern spin on it. So I am yep. way into that. And you know, my apartment now is so much bigger. I, I still am like desperately trying to like put some great artwork and I love some texture on the wall. Yep, you gotta fill up those walls, girl. Mm -hmm. Cotton or nylon cording, a wooden dowel, leather cording, acrylic paint, scissors, and a foam tipped paintbrush. Okay, but before we get to the knots, you gotta hold your horses. We are gonna paint our dowel rod. This is gonna be the base of our wall hanging. Of course, you could just use the natural wood, but what's the fun in that? So we're gonna paint ours a metallic. Mine is like a champagne, kind of pewtery color. Excellent, mine's like a copper situation. Paint that dowel, girl. So I actually was thinking, you know, instead of the dowel, you could use like a piece of copper tubing, which would be beautiful. Very cool. But the awesome thing about the dowel is they're so inexpensive. Okay, so let's set these aside and let them dry. The first thing we're going to do is do two pretty long lengths. Are you ready to learn? So ready. All right, Josephine Knot 101, okay? Separate out your two ends. Take your right side and loop it under. As you're making your knot, keep the strands flat. So you know you're gonna have to like kind of manipulate yeah. to keep them flat. So now you take this and cross it over. Wrong. Now take this part and cross it under. And now take the ends, and this is where the magic happens. Go under the top of the loop, over the part that crosses over, and under the bottom of the loop. And now gently pull the two ends, kind of twisting as you go. Does it look, does it look like it's supposed to look? Yay! Yay! I macrame. You totally did it, you macrame. Now this is one of like a, a bajillion right. macrame knots, but I like this one because I feel like it's clean like and push it up modern. Much, Are you ready to like, make a wall hanging. I'm totally ready to make so a wall hanging. Excited. So the first thing we're going to want to do is decide how long we want the actual like ropey bit to hang, you know? So I actually think that this is going to be a pretty good length. Let's cut a bunch so that we have a bunch to choose from. So again, we're going to use our hooks up at the top and kind of just rest the rod in there. If you take your cord and double it up, just loop it through like so. Leave, like you are, a couple of inches on each side. That's what we'll use our leather cord awesome. for hanging. And just loop them on. So. As you're attaching your cords to the dowels, you can go like super tight like I did and like really pack them in, or you can go looser like Meg, which you know will give you fewer knots. So it's really just how dense you want your pattern to be. All right, so I'm just starting to kind of plot out where I want my knots to go. And I think I might do like every other across the top and then alternating like do the next set lower. So this is where it's handy to do this on a cutting mat like this because you, you know, can use the lines to kind of make like a little grid for your knots so that they're relatively straight. This is kind of a fun project to do with a friend because it's, you know, one of those like kind of tedious but you can still chat through it. Yeah. With the skill set being beginner, didn't quite have it in me to like 
plan it out too much. So yeah. kind of was, oh, I like you know, it. winging it a little. Yes. And I'll do some, like, a couple more haphazard ones mm -hmm. down here. All right, so while you finish yours up, I'm going to kind of trim mine a little bit where it's fraying. And then very carefully use a lighter and just melt the ends of that thread. So to finish things off, just tie your leather cording. I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times and just tie a simple knot at the bottom. All right. So mine's done. I love it. I'm gonna help. I totally dig it. I love it and I love what you're doing and I think we should do this again. I think so too. <laughs> Thank you for okay. teaching me this. Hey, thanks for coming. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>